How's it going, everybody? I was at the gym, decided to walk around, catch the Hudson, see what the views are like, and it is stunning. It's about 65 degrees out here. I don't think we're gonna have too many more of these days. The past two weeks have been a little rough. I uh, found out that my grandfather passed away. He's my first grandparent to pass away. So it is a completely new feeling. As an emotional person, it's a little hard to talk about, but I'm about to be doing a trip out to his funeral in Colorado. He inspired me a lot in fitness, in nature, in the outdoors, and just in being a positive person. He was a beautiful spirit, such a positive, uplifting character. He was always encouraging in everything that we did, and he was accepting, even in his old age. He was an avid hiker. He loved the outdoors, he loved nature, and I think that's what inspired me. He also inspired me to get into exercise and physical fitness. He actually sent me my first workout fitness book when I was 10. Had all of the dumbbell workouts, how to get fit, how to build your muscles, and that's what got me into fitness. He has inspired my family and myself in so many ways. This is a new feeling for me and something that I have to get used to. My other grandparents are his age and older, so it's definitely something that I'm going to be experiencing over the next few years. Hopefully not close together. I'm a very emotional person. I definitely wear my emotions on my sleeve and I'm not ashamed about that. Over the past few years I've definitely worked on learning how to control my emotions but not push them down or hide them. So yeah. Anyway, it's a beautiful day. We're staying positive. I'm really fortunate to have my family to support me and I hope I'm supporting them as well. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. It is so cold. I am going to do some car maintenance. I have to go to Firestone to get my wheel alignment and tire rotation done before I head out on this trip out to Colorado. I hate doing car shit. I don't know why I have this mental block. Whenever it comes to having to get car maintenance or change my oil or anything like that, if it's not urgent, if it's not something that needs to be fixed right away so that I can physically drive the vehicle, I tend to put it off. I need to get a little bit better at not procrastinating on my car stuff. So yeah, let's get to it. It's cold. Let's go. I walk in and no one is in there. No one comes to the desk no customer service at all. I don't know why it's so hard to get anything done with your car in New York. It just seems like it's like impossible. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how long this takes. 
I'm on my way to McDonald's as I wait for my car. They made the work order. They didn't take the car in yet, so we'll see how long it takes. It's early, I haven't eaten breakfast yet. So I just thought I'd walk to McDonald's. Pretty happening place for 9 a.m. on a Saturday. Well, that was a cute moment. My arteries do, in fact, feel a little bit more clogged. Four hours later. Okay. $1,000 later. We are all set. I must say, even though I spent five hours sitting in there and I spent a thousand dollars, which is so painful, like I can't even comprehend how painful that is. But my car, it feels like I'm floating, number one. And the sound, it was so loud before. I couldn't film in here, I couldn't do anything in here. It was like so loud. And I thought it was the alignment, but it was the ball bearing. It was rusted out. The guy said it looked like it had been underwater. It had probably been through a hurricane down in Florida, so maybe it had been underwater. I love weekend mornings when it's just chill, watch some tennis. For those who don't watch tennis, the weekends are always when finals are on. It's nice to wake up on Saturday or Sunday, get your coffee, get your breakfast, and just watch some tennis in the morning. It's a good way to start the day. Lately, I have been a little bit more chill, haven't been going out as much. I've been thinking a lot about my goals and what I want to achieve over the next year. And I do want to thank y'all for 20K subscribers. That is really awesome. My goal this year was actually to hit 15K. It's been you know, a lot of trying out different things, seeing what works for me, seeing what is fun for me and what I enjoy, because that's a huge part of this YouTube process. Not only being able to be autonomous in what you create, but also enjoying what you create and letting your passions kind of shine through. The fun part of it is a huge, huge portion. And I understand, you know, it's not always gonna be fun. If you want to create something that has value and brings in income, it's definitely gonna feel like work sometimes. The editing process, the shooting process, sometimes it feels like work, but I actually enjoy it, I really enjoy it. And I've been thinking a lot about where I wanna bring my channel and what niche I kinda wanna get into. And since I got my drone, y'all have seen some of the drone shots that I've been doing, and it's really exciting for me. I really enjoy flying my drone. Seeing the beautiful landscapes through a different perspective for me has been really inspiring. I never really consider the job opportunities that come with being a skilled drone pilot. There are a lot of freelance gigs, a lot of aerial photography, gigs for real estate, for nature, publications, for so many different things that require an aerial view. To have the pilot certificate really can help you get some of these jobs, but I need to get more experience first. I have to eventually get that certificate. So that's something I'm gonna be working on over the next year. Of course, I'm gonna keep creating on YouTube. I really wanna to continue to grow this. I believe in myself and I feel like, it's going well. I just want to focus a little bit more on the things that bring me joy. I've always wanted to incorporate travel in my channel, but I don't have the finances to do that all the time. And I've been making some changes in my financial life. I've been trying to kind of grow and really step into this creator role a little bit more, stay consistent, and I think I've done that this year. But I want to have a little bit more purpose with what I'm creating, a little more intention behind my videos. As I go on with more videos, <laughs> I'm gonna be showing y'all 
exactly what I mean by all this. So please stay tuned. If you would like to support me and my channel, help me continue to create, then consider joining my Patreon community. You can find the link in the description below. Y'all are already supporting me by watching my videos and I appreciate that so much. So definitely don't feel pressure to support me, but if you can and you want to, feel free to check that link below. I am so grateful and appreciative of the 11 patrons who have already decided to support me. Thank y'all so much. I can't tell y'all how much it means to know that people support you and believe in you and want to see you grow and succeed. Thank y'all so much. I really do appreciate y'all. Now it is time to go to brunch. Thank you. 